Hello and welcome to Mountain Aromatics. Today I wanted to go over watery notes like hey I'm making a formula and I want to put some watery notes. How do I make it watery? Well this is not the be-all end-all because there's some other out there but I want to go over four that can create a watery note for you and then I'll add one other thing to it so anyway so when I go over this some things to think about and I'll talk about it a little bit more are the type of formula that you are creating so let me just start the first one I have is PEA what does that stand for? Correct. Phenyl ethyl alcohol. You are correct. Very good. It is 32 hours. It's a middle note. And it's very rosy. But when you smell, you can detect um, dewy, watery notes and not even a background it smells pretty you can you'll be able to tell why it's a watery note it will add the illusion of wateriness to your formula so that's kind of what I was saying where you need to think about what type of formula you're doing because this has rose. This has a rosy note, predominantly rosy note. Um, so if you're not looking for that, maybe you don't want to add this. That's what I'm saying. So I'm giving you different things here. And again, I'm not saying there are only four thing, materials that have a watery note. No, there are some others, but I want to give you four today. The next one is bergamot essential oil. And it gives the um, illusion of a wateriness, a watery note as well. And when you smell this, it is in the citrus family, so you want to keep that in mind, but it's not like super orange or super lemon or super lime. It's, it is a, it's one of those that you can take in any direction. If you are doing orange, you can go with this in the orange direction. If you're doing lime, easy to go in the lime direction. Lemon, easy to go in the lemon direction or all three, however you're doing it. But keep in mind, if you're doing a citrus or you have citrus in your formula, whether it's a dominant or not, you can add bergamot and it's going to give it the illusion. This will help with the illusion of wateriness. Next, this one is Adoxal, A-D-O-X-A-L. Um, it is from Jividan. It is 168 hours on the test strip. Long time. It is a middle note. And it is um, fresh linen, um, a little a little aldehydic sometimes i hate saying that word because when you think aldehydes you're like oh the typical aldehydes this isn't quite like that i can stick my nose and it's you know full strength i can stick my nose up to it and it's um not overpowering you do want to use this in trace amounts you do not need a lot at all if you have if you have a formula in a small vial like this one drop will be plenty. You don't need a, a lot of this at all. Um, it's um, very, very good with florals, fruit, and wood. And it just, it has a watery 
ness to it, like a really clean, I'll say it, like a clean laundry watery, but clean. It has like this laundry, clean laundry scent to it, but also there's a wateriness to it. And that's why I put it in this category. It will give the illusion of water again. So this one doesn't really take you in any direction. Although you need to use it in trace amounts, whereas these you can use a lot more of. And this one you don't want to, but it's not, you can't smell floral, you can't smell wood, you can't smell fruit, you can't smell whatever, citrus. So it allows you, go, allows you to go in any direction, but use it sparingly. So when you use this, you can use these two together. You can use these two together so you can add this to your other watery notes to give it a little bit more. The next one is um, from Fermanish. It is um, Sentinel, S-C-E-N-T-E-N-A-L, Sentinel. It is um, restricted at 0.5% and it is 278 hours on the test strip. So very, very long. This one is um, this one is a little bit more complex, okay? So this is a complex aldehyde, but hold on, because I can stick my nose up to it. It is not, please hear me, it is not your typical aldehyde. It's not your typical aldehyde that you need to dilute it down to 1% before you can even smell it. No, it's not like that. I can open this and stick my nose up to it and it is beautiful. It's very, very clean. Um, it's a little similar to this in that it's very clean. And this one is, gosh, when I say marine or ocean, it's gonna give you these connotations and uh, it's so clean. It's almost no smell at all, but it's very watery and has a tiny, a tiny bit of green in the background. To me, a tiny bit of floral in the background and to me, a tiny bit of clean. Um, hey baby, oh, he's my love. A tiny bit of um, I don't know, um, ozone, watery, a tiny, I would say, I'm trying to say, not say salty, because it's not really salt water, it's just not, but it, it's this a little bit, it's just super, super clean, super watery, there's a tiny bit of floral in the background, it's just sitting in the background, a tiny bit of green, it's just sitting in the background, um, but this one's really awesome because it's, again, like this one, you can go in any direction because it's not super floral. Um, you could go with wood and it wouldn't matter. It's not super, I said floral, and green. And it's not super green. Um, so you could still go in any direction with it. Um, this, so to me, this is one, again, you could put with this one and this one, and you can take, look at, check this out. You can put these two together and use it with this and then with this as well. So that's how you're gonna, when you really wanna formulate, have some watery notes to it, take these three and add them and take these three and add them. But remember, this one's a little citrusy and this one's a little um, rosy. But if you're going in that direction, that's how you make it more watery. So, I hope you found this to be helpful. Again, <clears throat> you can, if you want to write in the comments below what materials you have found to be watery, you are welcome to do that and share with the community. Um, again, I'm not saying this is the only ones I have found. There are others, but I wanted to share four today with you. And Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a good day and I will see you on the next Mountain Aromatics. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.